Croatia's Dilkanji and Slovenia's Valhalla turrets used the Sidek 2025 defense exhibition in Selj on October 31 to unveil a heavy unmanned ground combat system aimed squarely at the drone threat. The pairing of Dilkanji's MV-8 Komodo unmanned ground vehicle with Valhalla's Mangar 25 air defense turret creates a short-range air defense and counter-UAS node designed to operate without exposing crews, plug into network command systems, and carry enough firepower to cut through small drones and light armored targets alike. The reveal followed a bilateral teaming agreement signed on October 24, framing the project as a cross-border industrial effort to deliver export-ready robotic platforms at a time when European militaries are racing to harden layered air defenses. The Mangar 25 AD provides the main sting. The turret mounts a stabilized rain metal 25 by 137 mm dual-feed automatic cannon with airburst ammunition, backed by two MBDA missile launchers to extend engagement options against maneuvering air and ground targets. A Hensoldt Spexer active electronically scanned array radar and a Safran Paseo electro-optical suite feed tracking and fire control, while four-axis stabilization and automatic video tracking are intended to keep rounds on target in motion. The system carries 400 ready-to-use 25mm rounds, includes a coaxial FN MAG 7.62 by 51mm machine gun with a 1,200 round load, and integrates twin 4-cell 76mm smoke dischargers for concealment and self-protection. Key components are shielded to Stanag 4569 Level 1, a sensible baseline for a remotely operated asset. The advertised engagement envelope is roughly 3 kilometers, aligning with the very short-range end of layered air defense where low, slow, and small threats are most congested. Dilkeng's Komodo serves as a heavy, resilient host. Weighing in around 17 tons and originally conceived for hazardous missions, the UGV uses a hybrid propulsion system intended to tolerate low oxygen and high-temperature environments that would stress conventional engines. With a CBRN mission module, the base platform measures about 7.2 meters in length, 2.3 meters in width, and 2.9 meters in height, rides on 0.34 meters of ground clearance, and is limited to 30 kilometers per hour in its civil configuration. Military adaptations raise top speed to around 55 kilometers per hour. Remote control line of sight range is quoted at roughly 1.5 kilometers. A modular structure allows the platform to accept interchangeable front and rear tools, robotic manipulators, and mission kits, ranging from engineering and decontamination to firefighting. The digital backbone is open by design, enabling links into C4 ISR networks and man-gun-man -man teaming schemes that are increasingly central to European force transformation. Programmatically, the unveiling at Sidec was as much a statement about industrial tempo as it was about a single vehicle. Slovenia's Ministry of Defense organized the show with the Slovenian Armed Forces and the National Defense Industry Cluster, bringing together more than a hundred companies across 10,000 square meters of floor space. Officials from Ljubljana framed the komodo mangard combination as proof that regional teaming can accelerate innovation in robotic warfare and air defense. The formal teaming agreement between DLKNG and Valhalla commits the firms to integrate unmanned chassis with modular weapon and sensor architectures, yielding families of systems that can be configured for counter-UAS, anti-armor, and broader combat support tasks without bespoke redesigns for each mission. Valhalla's turret roadmap adds momentum. The Mangar 25 is undergoing operational testing on multiple manned platforms, including the Oshkosh JLTV and Slovenia's Perrin 4x4, with continued firing trials at the back range until certification. The company leads a consortium of five Slovenian firms to localize mechanical, optical, and electronic production. Parallel developments include the Loki 762 Remote Weapon Station, a lightweight remote mount scaled for reconnaissance vehicles and logistics trucks. Training and sustainment threads are being stitched in early, with Guardiaris providing digital twin and embedded simulators to reduce live-fire costs and compress training cycles. Carbatet, a Guardiaris subsidiary, 
has integrated its band's non-lethal battlefield anti-aircraft system designed to provoke and drain aircraft countermeasures, creating better windows for kinetic effectors to finish engagements. Evidence of scalability beyond the Komodo chassis surfaced earlier this year. At the IDD 2025 show, the Wolf 25 AD combined the Mangard 25 turret with an S-band AESA radar on a Slovak Wolf MR AP chassis. Developers outlined detection bands from roughly 20 km for fighter-sized targets and 12 km for helicopters to about 10 km for missiles and Lancet-class loitering munitions, with small FPV or reconnaissance drones detected around 5 km and kinetic intercepts with 25 mm airbursts taking place near 350 m. Meanwhile, a Mangard 30 variant ups the caliber to 30mm while retaining a 7.62mm coaxial gun, that turret has already been integrated on a Patria AMV for Slovenian trials. The family leaves room for future additions such as acoustic shot detection, laser designation, and AI-assisted target recognition to cut sensor-to-shooter timelines. For DOKNG, the armed Komodo reflects a deliberate shift from civil protection robotics into the military domain. The company's mine clearing MV 4 and MV 10 UGVs have long earned credibility in harsh environments, and in October 2024, Dokanji signed a memorandum of understanding with Germany's Rainmetal to co develop unmanned ground systems for mine scattering and countermobility, with a demonstrator plan for 2025. Under that collaboration, Rainmetal provides modular payloads for direct and indirect fire as well as reconnaissance, while DOKNG contributes heavy-duty platforms and control systems. The Mangard-equipped Komodo sits logically within that trajectory, matching a rugged robotized chassis with a modern, stabilized air defense turret. The timing and market signals are favorable. Croatia is preparing a program of roughly $115 million to erect an automated anti-drone defense network protecting critical infrastructure, with potential co-financing through the EU's safe mechanisms. Such a network would rely on distributed, network-aware nodes that can operate persistently, share tracks, and hand off engagements, an architecture that suits the Mangard Komodo approach. At SIDEC, Representatives from 13 NATO nations reportedly expressed interest in the heavy unmanned air defense configuration, underscoring a broader recognition that fixed site and mobile shore ad layers will need more autonomous, attritable ground elements to keep pace with proliferating drones. The operational logic behind the pairing is straightforward. On today's battlefields, low cost drones impose high cost dilemmas, they force continuous sensor coverage, rapid classification, and proportional responses that do not empty expensive missile inventories against cheap threats. A teleoperated, networked ground platform that can cue from external sensors and prosecute targets with cannon fired air burst or short range missiles helps restore the economics. The Komodo's hybrid power and heavy duty design promise long on station endurance and mobility over uneven terrain around air bases, ammunition depots, and forward assembly areas. The Mangard turret stabilization and sensor fusion aim to keep accuracy high enough to make 25mm airburst a viable, repeatable counter to small multirotors and loitering munitions, while the missiles add reach and flexibility when the threat profile escalates. Equally important is the modular pathway. By decoupling the turret family from the host platform, Valhalla and its partners can port the Mangard line across different vehicles, manned or unmanned, depending on the customer's fleet and mission. The Komodo similarly accepts task-specific kits, allowing the same base robot to shift from CUAS duty to engineering support, CBRN reconnaissance, or firefighting with changes to payloads rather than core architecture. That modularity, paired with a digital backbone ready for C4ISR integration, is what makes the system more than a one-off demonstration. It is a template for how Central European industry intends to field practical, scalable robotics at the edge of air defense. Ultimately, the Komodo with Mangard 25 AD arrives as European militaries recalibrate for a drone-saturated battle space. If testing and certification stay on track and the promised performance bears out, the system could provide a durable ground-based complement to mobile Shorad batteries, 
protecting high-value sites and moving with mechanized forces without demanding scarce crews. The concept's appeal rests on three pillars, modular design that lowers integration costs, networking that multiplies effect across nodes, and an autonomy-ready control stack that can evolve from teleoperation to supervised autonomy as policy and trust allow. On those terms, the Croatia-Slovenia collaboration offers a concise signal from Central Europe, robotic air defense is moving from the lab to the field, and it is designed to be exported.